Shalom. All praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahak Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Unto you all, I say Shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Satan been fucking with me all week, man. You know, every time I try to do a video, something fucking comes up. Uh, the video doesn't work. My video, my live stream yesterday didn't have sound. You know, <laughs> you know, we call all y'all by Shem Shah, man. Call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, we can never say that enough because the times that we're living in, man, hey, if you don't know that name and if you don't have the right doctrine, many things are going to come to pass. All right? And through the Spirit, I'm going to title this video. Uh, I hate every false way <laughs> because the, the, the nation of Edom, the so-called white nation, you know, have done everything false, have done everything wrong and out of order. You know, I was uh, speaking to a sister today, um, you know, uh, one of the brother's wives, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was with the brother and just talking about... Um, <laughs> the ways of Esau, the ways of this world, the ways of Babylon, you know, and and how everything. I, I, oh, that was the point that I brought up to. Her. I said everything that you've ever been taught and learned when it comes to the truth, it's literally the opposite. You flip it on its head. You know, if they say um, the so-called white nation is going to rule forever, that's a fault. That's false. If they say so-called white man uh, is 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 uh, the Lord, you know it's the complete opposite. If they say that Jesus is his name, you know that that's an error. Everything that they say is out of whack, okay. And so uh, I got a few precepts lined up. I'm going to I'm not going to start at the initial one where you're thinking I got that line from, but this is uh, Psalms five and five. It says, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. All right. So the Lord said he hates all workers of iniquity. All right. And King David even said that he counts them as enemies. You know, when you got an enemy and you keeping a watch out. It's a lock you. You know, when you got an enemy, you keeping a lookout. You seeing what's going on. Especially if they're an enemy that's, that's a little closer to home. You know, but Esau eat them. The so-called white nation, they're through. It's over for that, and this kingdom is about to fall. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Which they find that name dreadful, and they're, they're trembling in their boots, man, with that sign up. You know, but the Lord is, is getting that name prepared so that people can bow and confess, man. That's what that, that, that name is getting prepared for. He says he hates all workers of iniquity, man. All, all those who uh, perpetrate sin wickedness and put it forth on the earth and uh killing everybody you know worshiping beasts and, and, and elements you know the heavenly father is going to have a way with you people and then what you going to do man you're going to try to cry out then in righteousness it's, it's too late this is psalms 11 and 5 it says the lord tries the righteous but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. All right. So the Lord says he hateth those that uh, triumph in wickedness. He hateth those that lieth in wickedness. All right. He says, the Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. All right. Who's loved violence? The so-called white nation. All right. They've loved to go around and kill people and slay people and murder people. Salakia. But the Lord says he so hate them people, man. Because they sit up and they, they act like everything is good. Everything is, there's nothing going on. Those people are dead inside, man. You know, and Yahweh Hashem Yashai, he's about to deal with these people out here, man. He's about to deal with uh, the judgment that's going to come upon him. And hey, you rightfully deserve it because his men have been telling you for years, decades, if you're thinking about the apostles. And the elders. Decades, man. This is Psalms 26. And uh, I started. 
I started one actually through uh, six. It says, "Judge me, O Yahweh, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not abide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me to try my reins in my heart. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons." Neither will I go into the dissemblers. The Lord said he ain't walked with vain persons. I have hated the, the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Okay, that's what we doing. We 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 not gonna sit with the wicked, man. We not gonna uh, be uh, in one accord with them, thinking that everything is right when everything is an error and everything is an issue. All right, Yahweh Shai said he's gonna destroy this place. He's gonna overthrow this place. All right, and he said he's gonna follow, he's gonna uh, lead his men in sincerity and truth, and those that are following after him are gonna follow him, follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes, because we know that he's leading us right. We know that he's just not doing whatever he wants, and uh, it's not gonna work like that. Okay, this is Psalms 31 and 6. It says, I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in Yahweh. All right, all right. Trusting the Lord is is vital, man. Trusting the Lord is is vital to the whole operation of this, man. But we don't regard those who are lying vanities, man. Who uh, lying in nothingness and emptiness, you know. And that that's what Esau is doing. That's what the so-called white nation doing. Today. Hey, because Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, and they're 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 posting up these signs. All right, getting the Lord's name out there. But hey, that's a that's truth right there because they have told everybody lies and vanity all right but the lord is is set in this place for truth set in this place for righteousness set in this place back in the way that it was intended to be but these these people are not going to understand that man they're going to do whatever feels right with their flesh all until the coming day of the lord when he come back then it's going to be yo oh, let, let's talk about it nah bro because you people don't love the you people love the false way here in America. All right, this is Psalms 97, and I started nine. For thou, Lord Yahweh, art thy high, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Be, uh, he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. You see what I'm saying? So the hands are delivered out of the souls of the, out of the hands of the wicked. All right, and so it's ye that love the Lord hate evil. All right, so we love we we love Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. So he said, hate evil. Be away from these people. Be away from their doctrines. Be away from being buddy buddy with them. Going to bars. You, know, you got to be careful, man. The scriptures say never trust thine enemy. You got to be careful when dealing with uh, these other nations, man. Predominantly Esau. Esau out to get you, man. Ain't, ain't nothing changed. Don't be let don't be letting Esau make you think something different. This is Psalms 101 and 3. It says, uh I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, it shall not cleave to me. You see that? So the Lord says he has set no wicked uh, before his eyes because he hate the work of them that turn aside. Those that turn aside, you two-thirds, man. You don't want to serve after the how about Shemiah Shah. You want to serve after your own belly. You want to do what you want to do. You want to do what feels good, what sounds good. All right? We're not about that. All right? We're about uh, getting, bringing edification. We're about uh, bringing the truth, the true way. All right? The Lord says, I am the truth the way, all right, and the life, okay, so we're here for truth's sake, not here for the games, not here for the lies, we're here for truth's sake, all right, now let me get this verse uh, that bring, brought up this video in the first place, because we don't, everything that's false and out of order, hey, we got to get it, the Lord got to bring it back right, this is Psalms 119, and one and so Psalms 119 and 12. It says, Blessed art thou, O Lord, Yahweh. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. 
I reading the right part? Hold on. So lock it. Bear with me one second. I think I'm looking at the wrong part. Okay. Psalms 119. And I started 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. All right, that's how beautiful the precepts of the Lord are. All right, they're beautiful to our taste, beautiful to our hearts, our minds. They smell good. They taste good. You know, we're able to um, get the full knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Okay? It says, uh, through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So every false way is anything that goes against the scriptures. All right, and the Lord says he hates that, man. Every false way, every incorrect way, every uh, way that is not right with the Heavenly Father. He said he hates that. Okay, but what do these people do? They continuously do what they want. All right, he ain't coming, right? Psalms 119, and uh, I started at 127. It says, therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yea, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all my precepts concerning all things to be right. All right. You know, so all things to be right. And I hate every false way. All right. So the Lord says he hates every false way. But these people think that that's the right way. You know. But see, that that's because the ways that they learned are the, the ways of the world, the ways of Esau. The ways of this society, the ways of or westernization. Okay? But the Lord says we he hates that, man. Every false way, every the cause the right way is the scriptures, the Bible, the understanding of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and his son, you know, and the, the angels, the beauty of the scriptures, the spirit of life, you know, the Son of the Most High, the, the prophets. Alright, all those are the right ways, man. But these people, they're, they're about serving their way. Okay? But the laws of such commandments are above gold, above fine gold, man. And we're grateful for that because, and it also does it not say the men of the Lord are going to be as fine gold. All right? And they say you are what you eat, right? <laughs> the men of the Lord are going to eat, spiritually eat the gold, therefore becoming fine gold. All right? This is Proverbs 8 and 13. It says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. These are all things that the Lord hate, man. So, you, you proud and arrogant. Who's the proud and arrogant nation? The so-called white nation. We had a guy come up to camp last week, and what did he say? Oh, um, yeah, uh, my dad is black. You people are, I know, my wife, my, 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 my mom's black. Uh, so, so what? You know, uh, America, and that's what he said. America's the greatest country in the world. Where where did you learn that, man? Who taught you that? Everything y'all taught was in schools. But who taught you that the so-called white man was better than us, man? All right? He's through. He's finished. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Who fears the Lord? The, the elect. The one-third of the men, women, and children. All right? The 144,000. Who's the elect? You people going to be... It's over for you people, man. Because the Lord said you hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. You arrogant people in the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. You people talk too much. You you do too much wickedness. So the Lord is going gonna, is gonna to punish you for that. Hey, Lord, he ain't never played with his punishments, man. These people get, get things confused and think the Lord has, has played with his punishments. Whenever it was time to punish Israel was he ever was he ever slack concerning that promise nah so he's not gonna be slack concerning the promise of the uh, of his return all right and to lay you people lay you people down to put it plainly man even two-thirds of our people Israel you got to go man but it's because it's because you've been so so tainted by Esau so tainted by Esau. Esau has done whatever you want, said whatever you want, 
And you people just accept it. This is Hosea 9 and 15. It says, All their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of mine house. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. You know, this is talking about the northern kingdom. You know, but nonetheless, you know, the point was, uh, I hated them for the wickedness of this, their doings. I will drive them out of my house. All right. So the Lord said he'll drag you out of his house for not, for not loving him. Because if you're not loving the Lord, that means you're loving every false way. All right. So either you got to love, it says, man shall not have two masters. You can't serve mammon in the most high. That's, that's simply what it comes down to, man. All right. So I, I hate every false way, man. Everything that's that's wrong in this world, man, we hate it. I saw a damn a picture of a of a of a beach whale today, and he had trash all in his mouth, man. His whole mouth was full with trash and plastic and cups and straws and shit. That's that's wicked. And the so-called white man gotta pay for that, man. The Amaleks, the the so-called Jews, which aren't the Jews, which aren't the Hebrew Israelites. This is uh, Hosea 5, and I'll start at 14. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the power of hosts, shall be with you, even as ye have, as, as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So that's what we hoping, man. We hate the evil and love the good, and we establish judgment in the gate. And maybe the Lord might have mercy on us, man. For all that we've done. For not seeing and seeking after his evil, after his wickedness. Alright? We we follow you. How about Shemel Shah? We don't gotta follow you, you demons, devils, devils, and you warlocks, man. We don't gotta go through that. We 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 know who you are, man. We know the false ways that you bring, the false teachings that you bring. Following after uh different different men with without understanding. Hey, every false way, why do you think the men of Great Stone, Great Millstone, we come at certain cats the way we do and we say certain things the way we do because first and foremost, it's all through the spirit, but you gotta understand. People out here are are wicked, man. They do a lot of things that are against the Heavenly Father, and we only seeing the we only scratching the surface. Alright, but it's, it's gonna come a time where people are gonna understand who the men of the Lord was. This is John 3 and 20. It says, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. You know? So, hey, the thing is, the truth is about to be revealed, man. The truth is already being revealed. And Yahweh Shah is coming back. All right? So, everything that's false in this place, man, with the uh, rainbow letterheads, you know, and their their wigs and their uh, their fucking eyelashes and the materialism and the gluttony and the uh, the disrespect, the, the the lack of the love of the heavenly Father. You know, it's 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 so many false ways that's in about in Babylon. It's so many things that go off. It's so many. The ways that the Heavenly Father has to correct. But he said he's going to do so through his men. Alright, he said, and through it, through his men, his men are the ones who are going to break nations. And see, this is where you get Esau who wants to uh, roll up on us. Because that's what they believe. Alright, they, they formulated their mind for, you know, the amount of violence and money that they think they'll be forfeited. But these people are truly forfeiting off each other, man. They're keeping their money in a, in a tight circle, right? And these people are, are through. These people are through, man. And I pray you help us, Shimei Al-Shah, come back speedily to destroy these people. All right, but you see that? that we didn't do it. We send the prayers and the supplications up to the Heavenly Father. 
I got two part precepts, um, mainly because you know people forget about uh, what the so called white nation can do unto us. This is Revelation two and uh, Salakia two and twenty seven. It says, and he shall rule them. I'll start at 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. Shall they be broken to shiver, shivers as I have received of my father. So you see that the Lord, the Lord is going to be the one to do the breaking. You know, we're there to help. We're able to assist, you know.